<laughs> What's up guys, it's Valido and today I'll be doing my second tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to use the plugin 3RC in Cinema 4D. It's a really really good plugin and I recommend it to all of you guys who do GFX and editing and stuff. I might start to use them in my edits, my 3D motion tracks, but I don't know. Might as well. I just keep forgetting to use them. So yeah, Throusy, so this is how you use it. You make your text, name it whatever you want. I'll do Valido just to like show you guys. Pick a font that you want, it can be any font. Um yeah, I'm just looking for a good font, sorry. Oh, it looks like we um, this is Avenger. So, one sec. That looks better. So, you got your text, uh, you select your text, you go plugins, Drowsy, first one. You can put any number in here, but I recommend 20. It looks really good. So, break it. So once that's done, you can close this down, select all of them, press Alt G, which groups them. I don't know about R13 if you guys are on it, but yeah. If Alt G doesn't work, you can go to objects and just click null. Um, for me, you select null, you go to my graph, fracture. You put null on the fracture, click fracture and do explode segments. Once that's done, you press Fracture, Chromograph Effector, Random. As you can see, it's all over the place now, so... Change it to say... 10. You can put it to whatever you want, depending on you. what you like, what you want to see, so yeah. I reckon 10 looks really good. So now you got... The text... But... If you add colours to this, I don't think it'll work. Well, it might, but... Yeah, but this is a better way. You go cut in. This is the colour that it's going to be, like, the inside of the text. So, yeah. Um, we'll have colour. We'll make this... This blue. I'll put reflection on, change it to say 25. Not like that 30 actually. And you get glow, change that to 200. So it's, as you can see, it's like the inside now. For the outside, the actual base color, you go here. Um, make this. Yeah, you know, we'll just make this white actually. Uh, make sure transparent. Oh no, not the transparent. Reflections on. Change it to 30 as well. You got your specular. Just put this up a bit more. You can change it to whatever you want. Just messing around with it. So yeah. Um, luminance. Change it to 10. See how this turns out. As you can see, that's looking really, really good right now, as it is. And yeah, um... Make sure you change the first two, you don't have to worry about... ...the others. Um, don't worry about these. Just leave them, pretend they're not even there, just focus on the first two. And yeah... I'll change this to another colour, just to test. We'll go... I'll try that. See now it's pink. So the first one's the inside and what it'll glow, like the colour of the glow if you call it, I don't know. And the outside's the colour of the text. Try black.
yeah guys, this is basically how you use Thrasy, it's really simple, really easy to use. If you found this helpful, can you please leave a like and comment? And if I get 50 likes on this video, I'll release my my Light Studio to you guys as a download so you can get this. If I get 75, I'll do a tutorial on how to get Thrasy. But I oh know this won't get 75, so just YouTube it. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Hope this helped you. Latest.